New tonight, the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission is investigating a dramatic fish kill on the Treasure Coast, and the dead fish are not the only concern neighbors must deal with. News Channel 5's Alyssa Hyman live in Port St. Lucie to explain. Alyssa. Well, Michael, the biggest and most immediate issue for folks right now is that it smells and it smells badly. You can see just the hundreds of fish right here caught in the buoys and the vegetation over here. You're looking at the C24 Canal. We are just east of Port St. Lucie Boulevard over here to my left. Those are the flood control gates and ultimately this leads out to the North Fork of the St. Lucie River. But right now, most people just want to know what caused this and who's going to be responsible for cleaning it up. It's hard to live here now. Port St. Lucie's Miguel Gonzalez can't stomach the stench anymore. Sometimes it smells inside a house. He now walks around his neighborhood with Vicks Vapor Rub and a towel. I take my little dog outside and it's hard to be outside. For at least six days now, he's been dealing with a deadly odor. That fishy smell, hundreds of dead fish just sitting in the C24 canal, which sits right in front of his Dalton Circle home. Somebody's got to come in. It's a bad smell. Worse in the morning when the sun comes up. The suffocating smell now seeping into the entire neighborhood. Ever since it's been like that, we haven't seen anybody come around. At this point, FWC would only say it's looking into the fish kill, but something like this can happen after a major storm like Irma when there's a sudden runoff. What you're seeing is a fish kill usually caused by a deprivation of oxygen in the water. Mark Perry with the Florida Oceanographic Society told me, well, it can happen after a storm. It doesn't happen after every storm, so it's important to get to the bottom of it. We have to be careful not to assess too quickly because it could be a chemical situation. It could be some pesticide or something in the water which caused you know, the fish to um, to die like that in mass numbers like that. That's that's very big fish kill. Back out here live, Perry says it's also important to get these very important answers because right now this water is flowing into the St. Lucie River. But just on a side note, this canal, the C24 canal, does not get any water from Lake Okeechobee. Reporting live tonight in Port St. Lucie, Alyssa Hyman, WPTV News Channel 5.